for aries moon sign or ascendant the year 2022 is going to be a quite quite good year because of couple of factors saturn forming a shash yog in the 10th house in the sign of capricorn whereas jupiter giving the blessings from the 11th house year 2022 is going to be an year of excellence especially uh, because of the movement of mars mars also will not go debilitated this particular year because your ascendant is controlled by mars this particular year 2022 will also involve lot of travel lot of trips it will also show much improvement in your career but it will also ask for patience so for all aries ascendant people patience is going to be the key to success and uh, you can also observe that from february onwards when mars goes exalted it creates a new cycle mars will become uh, mars will go in the 10th house then from 11th and then 12th it reaches your ascendant back to aries so definitely this is a very power packed transit rahu will also make its move on your ascendant on 13th of april therefore ketu going in the 7th house can also show expansion of identity but wait this is rahu ketu saturn we are talking about and which means rahu ketu and saturn will be in the three central houses out of the four out of the four kendra bhava 1 4 7 and 10 rahu will occupy the first ketu will occupy the seventh saturn will occupy the tenth and therefore saturn will aspect the fourth definitely this is the year of hard work this is the year where you can you will get your due your due attention your due respect your due share of wealth and for this the amount of hard work that you will have to do is also going to be somewhat extra but definitely this is a year where you will get lot of results till april 2022 the jupiterian energies in the 11th house is going to be very beneficial very much beneficial for you because this jupiter will be in the final bhav of the trine of desire which includes the houses 3 7 and 11 and this jupiter has its blessing on the 7th house as well as the 3rd house jupiter in the 11th house only shows expansion of wealth and expansion of identity let's discuss uh, different areas of your life what this uh, year has to offer starting with business and finance when you're talking about business and finance jupiter plays a very vital role jupiter the planet of wealth rules your 9th house and 12th house dharma and daan dharma and donations that jupiter is in the 11th house which definitely indicates your nature of giving and your nature of philanthropy your nature to help other people and by this quality of life you will see that jupiter in the 11th house will only expand your capacity to earn and to give till april 2022 jupiter in a jupiterian energy will aspect the 7th house which will definitely increase the prospects of business especially if your business is in the fields of venus if your business includes export and import if your business in- includes technology especially the software world the world of animation the world of media the world of software programming especially connected to movies video video editing programming photography all creative arts also if you are associated with it industry because jupiter will aspect the third house and the house of gemini this also improves telecommunication sector as well as the it industry especially in it communications so overall this jupiter will have a very vital role on how your business will play now seventh house is called house of partners this jupiter will aspect the seventh house therefore it gives you good opportunity to make a good partnership in business get good contracts also you can uh, you can go for a decent startup with a with your friend with your colleague with your network circle it will improve your network circle which will also come handy in business but what happens after jupiter moves to the 12th house well because it is jupiter's own house the house of pisces the sign of pisces this is only good for the expansion and continuity of the business 
So the first four months of the 2022 gives you new opportunities, whereas the next eight months helps you sustain that opportunity because 12th house is the house of export and import. It is going overseas. So your business can literally reach places. Also, this house is sixth from seventh, which represents continuity of business as well as disputes that comes in business. Disputes such as sudden financial loss, legal trouble, court cases, blockages, uh, legal hurdles, uh, the hurdles that is associated in getting the tenders, finalizing a contract, bank loans, you can name. But Jupiter energy in the 12th house is going to pacify those negativity because it's Jupiter's own house. But you have to follow a certain kind of lifestyle. Because this is a guru and because this is Pisces, which means ocean of knowledge, you need to help students who are looking out for knowledge but doesn't have resources. You need to help people who, does, who are homeless and try to help them in any possible way because Jupiter from the 12th house will aspect the 4th house. You will only get happy if you are able to donate. When you are earning money, when you are looking out for more wealth or wealth creation, you need to convince the Jupiter by changing the attitude of your life that whatever wealth you will get, a part of it will be given back to the society a part of it will be given back for the good karma and then Jupiter will give you the necessary wealth because only when you will have is when you can give. If you will not have wealth, how can you? How can you distribute? How can you donate? How can you circulate wealth in the society? This Jupiter aspect 6th house from April 2022, which means generation of employment. So those of you who have strong business houses will see good results, especially after April 2000. 22. But yes, you have to be careful about unnecessary losses because Jupiter in the 12th house also shows expansion of business by investing money. So when you are putting out money, remember that money might not come back. So be careful about people who can betray you with their uh, good faces and you can end up giving them money or you can end up trusting them and the money may not come back. Remember, the moment Jupiter moves to 12th house in the similar time frame, Ketu comes to your 7th house. Job and career prospects will be very good in 2022 for Aries, Ascendant and Moon sign considering Saturn being in the 10th house forming a Shashi Yoga. This Saturn aspects the 7th house. That means the work environment may not be suitable to you. The work environment may not be as friendly as you think. You may feel that you were not getting appreciated for your hard work, but you have literally given a lot of hard work in your career. You are supposed to get appreciated in 2022 because you will get your due results of your good karma in 2022. Saturn in the 10th house alone, which will not have any negative influence of any other planet, especially Rahu or Ketu, will be able to control the energies of the 10th house, which is your career but only if you are following a strict discipline, especially if you are following your duty. Fluke attempts, by luck chances may not be prevalent for Aries Ascendant in this year because Saturn in the 10th house shows hard work. Wait for April 2022 when Jupiter will move in the 12th house and it will start aspecting the 6th house, which means it will start the ball rolling. It will give you new career opportunities. But remember, these career opportunities that will come after April is going to take you outside your home place, outside your native place. So you should be ready to relocate. You should be ready to build a new home. Or at least you can have a job that allows you to travel a lot because professional or personal travel will be a part of this year, especially after May 2022. Saturn's presence in the 10th house definitely recommends us to work hard definitely recommends us to follow the path of karma. So I will say this year is a karmic year for you as long as you do karma and as long as you reinvent yourself. Still, by being within the laws, you will see that this year will give you flourishing opportunities that will not only help you overcome losses, but will also give you uh, new ways to rediscover yourself. And few people who are doing a job and who are frustrated may start up a new business especially after May 
because when Ketu moves in the seventh house, it can trigger a chain reaction and you may rediscover yourself. So career-wise, you will see a lot of changes, a lot of resignations, a lot of attrition, a lot of movement, especially if you are Aries moon sign, because Rahu's influence on the moon may give you an idea that can make you somebody who you always wanted to be. But wait, this is Rahu and Rahu is only going to give you illusion. Out of 10 different things that Rahu will make you believe in, 6 or 7 will be false. Only 2 or 3 will be true and that is the test of Rahu. Can you identify the truth in the Maya? So you will have to take necessary guidance. You will have to follow the path. Don't do something extraordinary. Don't, don't jump the ship believing that the ice is water is ice because you will drown otherwise. Overall, this year is going to be an experimental year, a year of transformation, a good year for career. But remember, be ready to work hard because hard work will give you success. Relationship and marriages. This area of life will be quite good till 2022 April because Jupiter in the 11th house rules your 9th house. It aspects the 7th house therefore giving you good opportunities of marriage, giving you good opportunities towards making harmony, peace and love and relationship between different family members. Jupiterian energy also gives you an opportunity to mingle with the society, be more social and therefore gives you opportunity to expand your network circle. It gives you a nice opportunity to heal any relationship, especially marriage or even it, it can also represent a business contract. But what happens after April? After April, Jupiter moves in the 12th house and Ketu goes in the 7th house. This means that uh, if you are in a very bad relationship for a very long time, this can break apart. Jupiter may make you believe that this is the time to isolate yourself and renew your relationship. The best way to handle this energy is first to decide whether you want to continue a particular relation or you want to simply end it. If you want to continue, you will have to close the older, older uh, memories and maybe restart your, your relationship in an absolutely fresh way. And that is what Rahu in the first house indicates, a fresh start a new identity and Ketu in the seventh house shows us shows dissociation. Not only that, once Ketu goes in seventh house, Saturn will aspect the seventh house and that is somewhat spiritual. So the only way you can handle a bad marriage, a bad relationship is by being and being spiritual and handling the energy on the spiritual sense. From 11th of August to 6th of September, Jupiter, Venus will be debilitated. So that is not a good time for marriage. That can create divorces, separation, problems, especially because Ketu will be in the sign of Libra. And after 6th of September onwards, Venus will join Ketu in the 7th house. So this 11th of August till the somewhat in the, till the October end, the energies are going to be quite disturbing for relationship. So be careful for that separation, for that unnecessary relationship issues. But overall, because Saturn is in the 10th house, Saturn can give you the opportunity to hold on to the, to the positive side of the life, remember the positivity and don't follow the negative side. Whereas Jupiter in the 12th house absolutely ensures that the disputes in the relationship gets resolved in the best possible manner. So be assured, unless you create an issue in the marriage, unless you purposefully try to dissociate yourself from the relationship, Jupiterian energy and the Saturnian energy will try to balance it out. And this is this ultimately towards the end of the year becomes a very positive year for relationship. A lot of people who are Aries ascendant will also find marriage on the cards if you are eligible for marriage and if your Mahadasha allows. So overall, this 2022 will give mixed, uh, mixed experience in the love and the relationship front, especially after Rahu moves in the first house. So be careful of any misadventure, extramarital affair, and you will be absolutely fine. Health is the greatest wealth. I think we have clearly understood that since 2022. Saturn has made us understand health is the greatest wealth. With Jupiter going in the 12th house, aspecting the 6th and the 8th house, I will say this is a brilliant time, especially after May 2022 from the health perspective, 
because Jupiter will only give you opportunities to heal. Now opportunities to heal means that some hidden disease may come out, but you will get good treatment. You will get good solutions. So follow the advice of the doctor. Don't sit on disease and don't wait for the things to go bad. Follow the advice of doctor, follow Ayurveda and follow holistic guidance. Remember, Sun is a very important planet for you because it controls your fifth house, it controls your Purva Punya, it controls your past life good karma. Track the Sun, chant Aditya Hrida Stotra and Gayatri Mantra in case of any health issue. Every morning, do Surya Namaskar, the Sun Salutation and give water to Sun. Pray to the God, Sun God as much as possible. Wake up before sunrise and do, if possible, if health permits, don't eat after sunset. Having a holistic lifestyle is the best way to counter negative energy, especially associated with health. Overall, this is going to be quite a good year from the health perspective, so you don't need to worry. But bad habits can lead to bad outcomes. Rahu in the first house can make you believe that you are super strong and therefore you are invincible. Such kind of belief, such kind of notion can be deadly because it can lead you to substance abuse, to alcoholism, to, be, to becoming a smoke, smoking addict. And this can create a lot of health issues, especially when Mars will become debilitated. Now, if you observe that Mars is debilitated, this can create a lot of health issue, especially when Mars is exalted. Now, if you observe, Mars gets exalted from 26th of February to 7th of April. Now that is the Mars Martian energy in the first house. Now from 26th of February onwards, although it is very good from the career perspective, but Mars 8th aspect falls on the sign of Scorpio. You may feel that you are invincible, you are super strong. See, this is a time where you should invest in physical activity, learning yoga, martial art, going to the gym, making physically strong. Mars will support you. But if you think that you are the God, Rahu is in the second house and soon Rahu and Mars will collide, they will cross over. And the moment they cross over, this illusion will inflammate like anything and Rahu will make you believe that you are the best. And when, remember, when, when Ketu will come in the seventh house, it will dissociate yourself from the surrounding, maybe because you are falling sick, you are visiting hospitals, you are unable to connect to the surroundings because you are scared about death. These things will happen because Rahu creates unnecessary fear, fear of unknown. So people who have weak moon, especially moon in Scorpio and Aries ascendant must be very careful for these Martian and Rahu transit because care of health can cause literal blockage in your life. It can create anxieties. So what should you do? Nothing. Simple follow holistic methods, holistic lifestyle, vegan diet, follow weight loss regime, do yoga, pranayam, and holistic lifestyle will only give you positive outcome. Nothing to worry here. Education and academics. This is one area which is very important not only for students, but also for corporate individuals who do certifications, who wants to grow. Till April 2022, when Jupiter will be in Aquarius, it will aspect the sign of Leo and the fifth house, which is the house of Vidya, knowledge. Because fifth house gets aspected by Jupiter, it shows that your hard work will pay off, you will get good outcome of your hard work, you will get good rank in the competitive examination. This is going to be furthermore strengthened by the presence of Mars from 26th of February on your ascendant. Try to use this opportunity because you are getting a lot of power here. So that try to use this opportunity to create a new future to create a new identity for yourself. And when Jupiter goes in the 12th house, it is not bad. It shows new avenues of learning. It shows deep analysis, deep research. You may get good career, not only good career, you may get good, good opportunities that will help you upgrade by education. So if you are in a corporate individual, you can get some certifications. And because of that certification, you will see that a sudden career upgradation upgradation can happen after May 2022. If you're a student, you will see that not only you will be able to get and secure a good rank, but also good college and for those who are eligible, good placement. Overall, for academics, learning, for the people who are associated with the 
एजुकेशनल सेक्टर लर्निंग सेक्टर लर्निंग एंड डेवलपमेंट रिसर्च एंड डेवलपमेंट जुपिटर सैटन विल गिव यू द ग्रेटेस्ट पॉसिबल एडवांटेज ट्राई टू मेक द बेस्ट यूज ऑफ इट एंड डिवोट योर ईयर इन लर्निंग सो ओवरऑल फॉर द एरीज असेंडेंट एंड एरीज मून साइन दिस ईयर इज गोइंग टू बी ट्रेमेंडस ट्रेमेंडसली पॉजिटिव एंड ऑप्टिमिस्टिक बाई प्रेइंग टू लॉर्ड हनुमान एंड बाई प्रेइंग टू द गुरु तत्व द गुरु मंत्र यू विल बी एबल टू स्टीयर ऑल द नेगेटिविटी एंड टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी टू विल गिव यू वन ऑफ द बेस्ट मोमेंट्स ऑफ योर लाइफ मेक द बेस्ट यूज ऑफ इट एंड ट्राई टू बी एज पॉजिटिव एंड ऑप्टिमिस्टिक एज पॉसिबल आई विश यू ऑल द वेरी बेस्ट एंड विश यू अ वेरी हैप्पी टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी टू एंड अ ब्राइट फ्यूचर एंड अ हेल्दी लाइफ